this cutscene in this quest set the talking points everywhere for what was going on with the quest. And this became the the thing that Dead and Buried became about was it was the reveal that the raptor is Queen Ella Maria. And, you know, there's interesting dialogue in there. And, you, you know, I, this is going to be one of our, our main key uh, discussion points here with this about how this all went. Because if you look at it from this way, that portrait in in the in the town hall there at the fort was the was the foreshadowing device but you know nobody would have thought that going into this that we were going to be you know having a queen ella maria slash raptor quest because of that so well that's usually i'm good at picking up on the chekhov's gun things like that this one this one was just there and it fired right away so it uh well it fired right away in the quest here like because this is still what, relatively what do you early. mean no I'm, I'm just saying isn't the point of Chekhov's gun that it fires at some point during the storyline or the story of the play or plot that you're watching well, later you, in this you have it backwards oh okay. I think okay um I mean it's like the every element in a story must be necessary and irrelevant things shouldn't be there so yeah. if you feature a gun in a story there must be a reason for it such as it being fired sometime later in the plot yeah exactly See, now, this is the, the other point i wanted to make though shane was yeah. i felt like and, and i don't know if i'm the only one but with this reveal it this felt seven years too late as in, um, this should have happened it, when signature heroes were on the menu. It should have happened early on because, okay, so here's here's my my whole thing with with the the literary part of of this quest is that this automatically puts focus on the gender of the raptor, right? Hey, 2016, you want to do a girl boss story? Cool, it would have fit. In 2023, who gives a shit? I don't care. Who really care? But I the, mean, like, but apparently, the point, apparently the internet. But, but the yeah. point, I mean, but the point just, is that you can you can late. still do those storylines and you can still do what they did here with the Raptor and tell that story. And that's the point about it being 2023 is that it shouldn't matter if they do this storyline. And that's why there was the huge kerfuffle on the internet. It's like, why, why do people care about yeah. this? If it's supposed to be 2023, we should be able to just have this and have it be the way it is in in the game and it it should be accepted right but it was too late it, because this isn't pertinent to i mean what i don't know not like trying i said to, it, and it, it takes it have from the be pertinent to something right and and i want to I'll come to you questcaping in in one moment i just want to piggyback on something that mon jack said in the live stream this week is that this wasn't done for a diversity and inclusion pick during this quest so we can throw that completely out the window when that comes directly from the lead game designer of runescape yeah well the other thing though is even if you had made it a prince i still wouldn't have liked it right because i'm i'm not why does the raptor have to be batman that that's my that's my big you want the raptor to maintain Maintained being that mysterious character. You want, you want the raptor to be Zaltak, basically, the mystery character. Well, but at least I mean, at least we interact with this, right? Like it's mm-hmm. it's different than the Zaltak like, in that regard. Sort of questing hero shows up is completely yeah. gone by the next day. Hey. Yeah, and so for me, that was just an added thing that I didn't. It just didn't matter, right? Like. I, I know there was a lot of talk about that earlier on, years and years ago. And I feel like if you do it then, you strike when the iron's hot, right? But they were doing that it was... for that purpose, so I don't see why it needs to be tied to that at all. Because that's what the community was talking about when 
Raptor came out, it's like, oh, what is this? Now, I like the mystery part, but if you were going to explain it, explain it early on. Don't let it go seven years down the road and then be like, yeah. oh, by I the way. Get... Mm. I do kind of get both sides here, like, because it has been genuinely about a, over a decade since the signature heroes were introduced. Like, it was 2012, yeah. the Raptor got his yeah. one quest he appeared in ever, and that was not about his identity at all. And, like, we've just had years and years and years for the notion of the identity to just marinate and become a thing that would presumably never be solved. And, like, well, here we are, and people are, are, with fair reason, questioning why it it's the way it is. But on the other hand, I don't know. It's for for what it's worth, the gender thing is not intentionally the thing at play here. Like yeah. that is not at any point the key point they are getting at. That's essentially irrelevant. And like, I think I've seen. In the Discord, Modjack is suggesting that he thinks, he's pretty sure, but can't confirm, that the J-Mod who introduced the signature heroes back in the day, Mod John A, that he intended for the Raptors' big reveal to just be that the character is actually female under the armor all along, but that's actually really passe at this point. So what they're doing with that is actually making it a character reveal instead of just shock gender reveal. Right. Like the fact that it is Ella Maria is and the in, point. And in some ways it's more powerful that it's Ella Maria than just being a generic new uh, female adventurer, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because and- you've got a combination of two characters who you would not expect to ever see combined, really. Bingo. 